All right, welcome to the Robert Show. I'm here at PostCon 2024, and I have Roderick from Postman with me. Uh, first of all, Roderick, welcome to the Robert Show. Thank you for having me. It is such a pleasure to uh, be here at PostCon, and I'm seeing the developer community. The energy here is uh, phenomenal. Uh, I'm here to obviously learn a little about uh, what do you work on and uh, what do you do at Postman. But would you like to quickly start with an introduction? Tell us what you're working on. uh and just just tell us more about yourself yeah? all right so i'm roderick rava i'm the head of product for flows at postman i'm actually new to postman 9 months here um mm -hmm. and uh, before using po before joining postman i never, never actually used postman and it's been really interesting getting into flows getting into postman understanding how much there is to the platform i think being here has been really awesome talking to a lot of customers i was just talking to customers solving a real world problem that they had right. with the postman platform that's been fascinating yeah, i would love to know about the customer problem we'll get into that as well but uh, also since we are here at postcon uh, what do you feel about the developer community uh, what are you most excited about as well yeah i think feeding off the energy here has been wild and i can imagine yeah uh, talking to real people imagining how you don't even have to imagine they're explaining to you how they're solving their problems with postman right. has been really really energizing because i can take that back to the team half my team is actually here sort of just hearing the conversations with the developers has been great um, i think the other really interesting use case is the breadth of the use cases Uh, imagine like there's more use cases than I imagined. This one particular use case I just mentioned, not one that we'd heard of before. It's like, oh wow, this is a real world problem. It makes a lot of sense in retrospect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When it's about the real world problem, it becomes more right. interesting. Uh, so, what inspired the development of Postman Flows, and how does it enhance the API first approach? I'm kind of curious yeah. to learn a little about that. Right. So, Postman Flows actually predates me joining Postman. Uh, it's been in development for a little over two years, and launched actually last year. Available to professional annual plans. plans and in September of last year we opened it up to the entire postman community right. we've been hiding in plain sight one of the things that really inspired flows um was that this idea that when you're working with APIs first when and you're building applications it's not usually just a single API two it's more than an API it's like one API and then it's another and sometimes they don't quite fit together so you need to do something in between to schema align or right. process the data and you could do it with code but if you're going to reach 100 million developers there's just not enough developers in the world today there are professional full-time developers to be able to get there right you need to be able to make the technology accessible to more people and i think this is where postman and flows can transcend technology and make it accessible to a lot more people and that's what's exciting to me about postman and flows this is lovely and great uh, insights there uh, so how do you see postman flows impacting the way developers build and integrate api driven applications like you mentioned obviously there's you know there's one api and then there's another api as well that we want to you know and there could be many more apis too right. uh but how do you see the impact yeah i think the impact is sort of the ease of building those applications like right. when you're working with api first there's really nothing you can't do like everything we interact with in the world today is powered by an api true and so now we're bringing you this visual canvas where you can bring these apis together and compose these applications and what i really find refreshing is like when we're talking to actual customers and developers who say i'm not a professional developer my team doesn't have engineering resources i was able to do this i'm like right. yes this is great this is fantastic and we've seen people build automations with flows something that you want to run every 5 minutes every 10 10 um, every day every week um integrations i want to move data from one system to the other or if i'm a company like paypal or stripe where i want to explain how my apis work to the world yeah. i do that with flows i yeah. just visually explain it to them one of my favorite customer conversations was with a customer that said We used to give our customer 600 page manuals explaining our APIs. Yeah. Now I just build flows for them all. Oh wow. Like this wow. is awesome. Like, awesome. This is great. Yeah. And that's really what's exciting to me about being here. Yeah, exactly. In uh, since we're on this topic of customer, any use cases uh, certainly that you might be hearing right now or you know that you can share with our audience? Yeah. Um I'll share this one that I just mentioned a couple of times and it's fresh in my mind and I thought it was really cool. Not one we've thought of before, but now it's like, oh huh, yeah, that's just so obvious. <laughs> right. Um so this particular use case, a customer is trying to hold um API providers accountable for their SLAs, their service level agreements, and uh he's interacting with a sy system that's point of sale. So there's lots of parties involved, lots of APIs, and they all point the finger at each other. Mm. So he's he just built a flow between my talk and now 
that basically says, okay, I can figure out which APIs are fast, which ones are slow, mm. and now I can send that to the particular people who are interested, who are who should be able to fix those APIs for yeah. us. That's a great use case for flows that were like, oh yeah, it's just a, you know hold people accountable for things. Exactly. Not a professional developer was able to build it basically in a matter of 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so that's one great example. But we have lots more. Uh, in fact. One of the things we launched today, uh, the Flows catalog, is inspired by lots of use cases we've seen, mm. where people want to use the world's most favorite APIs, the most popular APIs, Google Sheets, uh, Facebook APIs, HubSpot, uh, MailChimp, et cetera, True. to do things. And now we've pre-built Flows for them, so you can just get going right mm. out of the box. No, I think these are uh, definitely very interesting for the audience as well, and uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, also want to learn a little about uh, how has the community feedback influenced the recent updates to the Postman flows. Just for uh, understanding, obviously I know Postman has always been at the forefront of listening to the community. We all love to take the feedback and you know obviously implement it and make sure that everything is very much smooth for the developers. The experience is uh, great. So anything that you see? Yeah, yeah great question. And like, without our users, we, there's nothing for us to build. Like, sure. We can build the greatest thing, but if we can't get people to use it, it's really a failure. Uh, we have many different ways we listen to community. One great way is the Postman community forum where people post their questions, we're in there, one of my engineers is scanning tickets every day and looking to respond to them. Uh, the other support tickets, we had a lot of feedback through our support tickets. Uh, being at events like this, we have a great extension of Postman as part of a learning center to go out there and teaches people how to use Postman. So many different ways for us to collect feedback. And without that feedback, we really don't build features that we you know, eventually launch if we don't see the traction. Exactly. Yet. It's great to have so many developers actively engage with the product. We can put out a feature quickly, see how it works, and if it doesn't work well, we can change it, adapt it, and go from there. Yeah, I love it. And uh, also looking forward, what type of announcements you're thinking about uh, in Postman Flows? I'm kind of uh, excited for the developer. What, what what can they expect? Yeah, I think, uh, so we announced uh, several new things today. I think the one that I'm most excited about personally is AI, and how we're integrating AI into Flows in what I call AI native. Mm. Like it shouldn't feel foreign. We think AI is going to be transformative to the way people code, develop applications and APIs in the future. And so we've integrated AI in two ways into flows. One, as part of your flow, as um, you, know, you want to make your AI, you want to make your flow smart. You've got a workflow, and at some point, you don't want to write logic for it, you want just AI to go handle it. Right. So you could do that. The other is the Postbot integration. It's really unique in terms of how we can integrate flows into right. Postbot, uh, or Postbot into flows, if you will. And uh, we built and sort of showcased earlier today a number of new interactions to help you build a flow faster, scaffold a flow, auto-complete a flow. Uh, and we think this is going to set us up for like an agent-rich future where you can just build applications by expressing your intent. Two APIs together, bring them close enough together, and we'll just figure out the rest for you. It'll yes. Almost magic. Yeah, love those announcements for sure. And, uh Quickly, also for our audience and our developers out there, I'm pretty sure uh, they would love to see if there are any resources. So if there are any resources, where can they find that? Uh, postman.com slash product slash flows. Okay. <laughs> is one of the best places to go learn about the product. The Learning Center, the Postman Learning Center, has a bunch of new updates that are coming out today. Our documentation is a work in progress. There's probably lots of things in there that you wish yeah. you could answer. Let us know. Uh, I read every support ticket that comes in so far. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, so open a support ticket. Let us know what we could do better. Yeah, as I said, uh, Postman is at the forefront of always listening to the community, and you guys love the feedback, and that's what we heard at the uh, at the keynote as well. So, which is fantastic, uh, Roderick. This is amazing. Thanks for sharing all the great insights it's almost uh, close to you know we are almost done with day two as well so uh, it is such a pleasure first of all to interview you but also to be at postcon 2024 and thanks for doing this yeah thanks for meeting you and giving me an opportunity to be here really yeah for sure it. thanks Rotek. thank you everyone